all of these brothers and sisters that I met were so attached to the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, to the Master Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. It made such an impression on me that I wanted to remain in the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam for the rest of my life. One of the things that happened to me personally was that when I signed the bayat to the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam, there was no doubt in my mind that I was doing the right thing. But imagine, and I'm talking about converts, people who revert back to Islam, Ahmadiyya, true Islam. Imagine going home and telling your mother that you have a new name, that your name is no longer Maurice, your name is Munir. Can you imagine the impact that has on a mother who named you herself and chose a name for you and you tell her you have a better name? Imagine, for instance, a person like myself who is considered as a mama's boy going home to a Baptist mother and telling her that Jesus did not die on the cross. Can you imagine how she felt to hear those words? So much sadness came over her. It was so amazing that we stopped speaking to each other for almost seven years. Seven years. But not a day went by during those seven years that I thought for a moment that I had made a mistake in joining the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. Nothing happens just by chance. Nothing happens just by chance. I remember when I received a letter from the second Khalifa, Hazrat Bashiruddin Mahmoud Ahmed Razilahu Anhu. When I received my bayat, the missionary, I was at the mosque in Washington, D.C., and the missionary, the late Khalil Ahmed Nasser, may Allah bless his soul, gave me my first letter from a Khalifa. It was such a feeling that I was hesitating to open the letter. And he gave me his letter opener, and I ripped open the letter, and in it was my bayat. And I kept that bayat, my brothers and sisters. To this day, the other day I went to Staples and had it reduced in size and laminated because when I was carrying it before, the paper was tearing. This is what we felt when we came into the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam, that we made the right choice. We made the right choice because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala touched our souls, touched our souls.